So what am I doing right now? Well, right now I'm making a video about what I am doing right now, but that's not really what I mean. What I wanted to do before I put on any other technical uh, videos was to put in context what it is that I'm doing, because I think a lot of videos goes on, go on, and you don't really see the context in which uh, uh, they appear. There's one on, say, calculus of variations, then there's one on uh, a slightly different topic. Now, what I'm tending to do is I'm updating the courses which I have on my Udemy and my Teachable uh, account. And when I update them, I load them onto my YouTube video as well as an update. But generally, what I do try and do is put, uh, I mean, if, as, I, as I produce a new course, I'm putting the videos of, of the new course onto YouTube at the same time. So generally it will follow a pattern, but sometimes it gets interrupted because I'm putting on a video from a different course. So right now, what I'm doing is working on a course in Lagrangian and Hamiltonian mechanics. And again, the type of videos I put together, it's not so much the physics that I'm interested in, it's the application of the mathematics to the physics. So I'm coming from the mathematical side to the physics. Now, before I continue with them, I started off with the Legendre transform and a few videos ago, there was a video on uh, the intuition or a graphical intuition to the Legendre trans transform. And I'm continuing with that just now. And I've been working through or I've worked through a nice little paper called Making Sense of the Legendre transform. Okay, so I've worked through that paper there, which is a nice little introduction to the Legendre transform. I'm also working through chapter 15 of a, a book which I, I got online, which is called The Hamiltonian Method. So I'm working through that at the moment, just to brush up in some Hamiltonian mechanics. I was okay with Lagrangian, but some of the stuff in Hamiltonian mechanics um, I had to brush up on again. So that's what I'm working through just now. I've also worked out all the mathematics that I require for the Legendre transform and it's extended to a function of um, two variables. So we've got the Legendre transform, but as a function of uh, two, two variables as opposed to one. And that's really, I've worked through all of the mathematics that I really um, need for the Legendre transform and how it's used in order to convert from the Lagrangian method to the Hamiltonian method. So that's what's going to come up next. And but before I do that, I've got another pile of books which I was going to go through. Now these aren't um, technical books, I suppose you would call them, um, what would you call them, like popular science, so kind of popular science books, verging on the technical. Um, when I get popular science books, I, 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 don't, I don't get them too wordy, I like to have some kind of mathematics in them. If, for example, Roger Penrose does a lot of good stuff, but I'm going to work through these books on the next video. And uh, before I start on the Legendre transform, I'll get rid of this little um, stubble as well. So that's where I'm at and that's where I'm going. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.